Oh, it's you again. All right. We're back at it, guys. It's Sunday morning, and uh, we got some things to do today. It's going to be a pretty typical Sunday. We're just going to wake up. Uh, we're going to get ourselves ready, go to the gym. We're going to grab a coffee, and we're going to get straight to work. All right. The goal today, 200 smackers. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's get after the day. So I did my laundry yesterday. So we gotta load up the drawer. I've had this Walmart bag for probably a year. They're pretty sturdy. Great for my laundry. So it rained last night, which I love, you know. Puts me to sleep quick. When it's raining in the car, it's like in it's like sleeping in an ASMR video, all right? It's very relaxing. It's 50 degrees out today which means it's gonna be a nice mild day. The clouds are out, you know, it's wet, but that's all good, you know, that's all good. Spring is coming and the winter, winter's on its way out. That was fast, you know what I mean? The time went by so fast. Um, and soon, soon I won't even be needing my uh, sleeping bag, you know? I can just use my blankets. But enough chit chat, let's go to the gym. I don't even know why I'm putting my seatbelt on. The gym's right there. I just don't want to hear the ding, ding, ding sound. You know, this one.
Okay, let's start the work day. The sun is shining out here today, man. Might even put the windows down. Spring is upon us. So before I start my work day, I have to figure out where I want to start my work day, right? And that's the thing I like about this job. Every day is different. You know, I don't have to work in any particular place. I can go wherever I want, really. So I'm going somewhere different today, right? And some some days I'll I'll uh, make my decision based on what I have to do in the morning. So I, if I have to check my mail, if I have to do my laundry, if I have to pick my son up, then I'm gonna work in a certain area that's closer to where all that is. But on a day like today, um, I don't have any obligations today, really. I did my laundry, um, I, I checked my mail, I'm not picking my son up today. So I can just pretty much go wherever I want. So let's head off into the sunlight here and see what we can get going. Oh, that is bright, that is very bright. All right, we got our first order of the day. It's not the greatest, but I just want to get this day started. McDonald's, uh, $7, four miles with DoorDash. Let's move. Yep, I'm a rabbit in a glass bottle. Not too happy about it. Okay, keep it moving. Now, it just don't make no damn sense that these people here ordered that coffee for that damn price. Go on in there and get that guap. All right, so this is a Starbucks order. No need for a hot bag. Let's just run in there and get the. Oh, Jesus! All right, guys, I wanted to show you how I pay for these shop and deliver orders. I have two digital cards, one for Uber Eats and one for DoorDash. Kind of like Apple Pay, double click, and we're good to go. All 
Alright, so we're doing pretty good today, but I'm getting kind of hungry. Seeing all these uh, food trucks and uh, we're in a very Hispanic part of Providence. So there's plenty of tacos around here, that's for sure. And you know me, love me some tacos. Um, but I'm about 19 hours fasted at the moment, right? And uh, if you watch this channel, you know I like to do intermittent fasting uh, for, for several reasons. But I'm ready to break that fast now. And um, what are we going to eat? What's around here? There's a place over there called Mr. Pollo. If I can find a parking spot, man, we're going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the car around and go back to that place, Mr. Boyos. See what they're all about. Come on, come on. Here's my opportunity. Let's go. Come on. Move it. There we go. I'm going to bust this left, park on this residential street. Mr. Pollo is right here. Is this guy going to let me go? Yep. Thanks, buddy. There it is on the left. It's a small little place. All right, here it is. Mr. Pollo. Looks like a tasty building. Look at that. Pregúntale, pregúntale de qué parte que quiere el pollo. O si entero el servicio por 15. It, it comes with rice, yep. you can put um, plantains on it, okay. fries, however you want. So, so I'll just do like chicken, rice. Thank you. So how would you like it with rice? Yeah, rice is good. I gotta learn Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Good idea. <laughs> good idea. The translator for the save. <laughs> All right, so we got some lunch. So it was $12 for this. I just gave them 15. All right, because they were very helpful and patient with me. We hit a little bit of a language barrier there. Um, but we got the job done. The translator came through for the save. And when I said I was in a Hispanic part of Providence, I mean Hispanic part of Providence. A lot of these businesses, they don't even speak English. Uh, but there's so many good restaurants out here, man. Let's see what we got. Let's pull over. All right, here's a parking lot. This is where we are going to have some lunch. I'm excited. I've never eaten at this place before. All right, let's assume the position. We're gonna need a table. I already have water. We're gonna need this. Got my Cholula hot sauce. Also gonna need knife and a fork. All right, she's a little messy. This is gonna be my only meal of the day. I might have a few snacks later. I've got bananas and apples back there, but uh, this is gonna be it for me. So check it out. Let me show you. We got the rotisserie chicken. Smells and looks delicious. Yeah, just a whole heap load of rice. I'm not. I'll probably eat like half of this. Let's see. I think this is beans. Is it beans? Yeah, I got some beans. Mostly sauce, though. I have a feeling we're gonna need wet wipes and a bowl. Oh, the joys of living in a car. We're just gonna plop this rice right up in here. If I can do this without making a mess, I'll be proud of myself, okay? What are you thinking? I think that's enough. Hell, if I get hungry later, I'll probably eat more of this. We're just gonna pour this up in here like that. Fuck it, there we go, how about that? Perfect. These kinda look like Heinz beans, but they're definitely not. Take a look at this chicken. 
This chicken looks delicious. Mmm. That is good chicken. I made a good choice. Mmm. This is good. We're gonna add some hot sauce. Just a little bit of Cholula. Just like that, it's all you need. It's all you need. Your job is done. Mm. That Cholula was a level up. It just leveled the whole experience up. And check out that, that's just the leg. Look at this, I got all this left. They're doing some great work over there at Mr. Pollo. You know what? I need to learn a little Spanish. Even just a little bit so I can order food. It was nice of that lady to translate for us, you know? She was really patient. They were all patient. All of us were patient. I was patient. They were patient. We got the chicken. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to finish up my lunch here. I'm going to watch some uh, Netflix and uh, then we'll get back to work. Happy days. Little floss action going on here. What do we got? All right, so offers like these, trash, all right? But we seem to have hit a bit of a roadblock. Right, it's been slow after lunch. And uh, just waiting on something to come through. Providence can be a bit of a saturated area because there's a lot of drivers out here. There's a lot of businesses out here, but there's also a lot of drivers out here. So I might have to move into like Cranston, Warwick. Uh, it's less saturated out there, but we're gonna stay patient. And if we have to pass time, we're gonna read Murder in the Reading Room by Ellerly Adams. Okay, it's it's slow, and you know what? It's a beautiful day. It's 55 degrees, the sun is shining. I'm gonna pull into this park and go for a little walk. Get some fresh air, you know what I mean? All right, let's take some snaps. It's a beautiful day for it. Let's go, boys. Kind of chilly out here, not gonna lie. We're gonna throw on the cashmere. Oh man, it's windy out here today. Look at that. I don't think this is cashmere, but it's nice. All right, this wind is not favorable for taking pictures of action figures. All right, it's beautiful out, but it's way too windy. So what I like to do is I like to 
you know, jump out when it's a nice day and take some snaps. That's what I like to call them. Snaps of my guys, right? And then I throw the pictures up on my Instagram, TMNT snaps. It's a fun hobby. So the ducks and the geese get along, apparently, completely unbothered by each other. Look at them. Look at them there just picking shit up off the grass. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half since my last offer, no lie. Uh, but we just got this one from DoorDash. It's $15 for seven miles, three items at Shaw's Grocery Store. And um, we're behind. We're behind. If we want to hit this goal, we need some bangers. All right, we, we need some consistent orders, and I need a few bangers. So while I was shopping for this order, a stacked order came through. They're offering $17 for an additional 2.8 miles, only four items, and they're Dino Buddy Nuggets. Easy peasy, but they didn't have the Dino Nuggets and they didn't want a substitution. So I had to refund them the order, but I still got $8.50 for my efforts. I'll take it. All right, so it just dawned on me that the clock went forward today, so we lost an hour. Which means we're probably not gonna hit that $200 goal today, but that's okay, you know? It's just not busy. Tell you what, we're gonna revise the goal today. We're gonna drop it down to 150. That's the new goal, let's hit it. Record timing on that one, record timing. I think I hit that in less than two minutes. All right, so the closest Walmart is about six miles from here. About a 12 minute drive, not too bad. We're gonna head there, set up camp. Then we're gonna jump in the lounge and we'll talk a little bit about today. That's the game plan, let's roll. semi is camping here tonight.
All right, we're back in the lounge. It's always good to be in the lounge, all right? Today was a long day, and it was also a slow day, all right? Especially for a Sunday. Sundays are typically my busiest day of the week, and I'll blow past $200 on a Sunday, but not today, not today. I had to lower my goal to 150 when I realized I just wasn't gonna hit that 200. So I was able to hit the two, uh, the, the 150, uh, just a little over 150. I think like 157 was, was the total at the end of the day, somewhere around there. But there was a few factors going against me today. You know, one, it was just slow, and two, I lost an hour. I didn't realize the, the, that the clock went forward, and um, that set me back just a little bit. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing. Because these days, uh, my YouTube videos are pulling in some coin as well. So I'm out here doing my deliveries, and my videos are also earning a little something too, uh, which I'm grateful for. But the day wasn't a total waste. We did get to enjoy some delicious Dominican food today. Got to take a walk in the park, even though it was breezy as hell. Um, and I got some work done on the laptop, did some editing. You know, when it's slow, I try to fill my time uh, with, with things to do, you know, get out there and, and stretch and, and walk around or get some work done on the laptop so I'm not sitting in my car twiddling my thumbs playing with Ninja Turtles. Although that did happen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys for tagging along with me today and uh, getting some gig work done. I'm going to jump back here now and uh, I'm going to stretch out, watch some Netflix, get a good night's sleep. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, until next time, guys, take it easy.